Hey guys, so sometimes the Funmat HT extruder gear will get gunk in it from grinding softer filament. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to quickly and easily clean that right out. All right, so all you're gonna need for this is a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench, a little bit of compressed air, canned air, air compressor, whatever you got. You can also use a brush like the one we include with our nanopolymer adhesive just to get extra stuff out of there. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is loosen this tension bolt right here. So I'm just gonna back it out far enough to slide the spring bolt out. Now you see this comes right out, you just keep control of it. Uh, this will fly across the room if you're not careful. We got that thing, we're gonna just set this to the side. I like using the bottom of the chamber as a little uh, bolt holder. Then you're gonna take your 2.5 millimeter hex wrench and you're gonna take out this bolt right here. Now, this only goes in a little bit before it's actually totally loose. So as you can see, it came out about a, you know, five millimeters or so, and then you can pull it right out. And that's that assembly right here. Really, that's it, that's all you gotta do. You'll see inside here, there's the gears you can see. And all we need to do is take a little bit of compressed air, I'm gonna scoot it back a little bit, get this thing in here. You don't wanna blow it upside down, otherwise you get bitter in all over your face. And we're just gonna spray it out. Now, if you wanna be extra thorough, you can turn that gear through the machine menu just to make sure there's no gunk stuck in it and all that. Or you can manually move the motor with some needle nose pliers. Just find the flat side, unlike me, and twist it around a little bit just to see that all the gears in there are clean and good to go. So here you can see the gears, and those are the gears that you want to make sure are clean, free of debris, and just basically you don't want any gunk in there that'll get caught on your filament as it goes down the path. All right, and just like that, we're gonna put the lever right back on, do it without the spring, and you get this, this, this screw will actually push all the way back in, and then you just tighten this down. Now this will go totally tight, to the point where you can't, you can, it's hard to move this. You wanna back it out enough so that this freely springs just like that. Next, you're gonna put the spring and the bolt back in just like this. You're gonna put the spring down on that little screw there, then press it down, slide it back in there, and then retension the tensioner bolt. So this is always something to watch because over time it can build up and cause jams. It can stop the filament from extruding. It can even cause extrusion issues if you've got gunk getting on your filament. In extreme cases, the filament will actually be wrapped around the gear, in which case you'll need to go into the manual extrude mode and jog it back and forth until you can pull it all out with needle nose pliers. Uh, so we, we actually see this happen a lot with ABS uh, if the chamber or the motor is getting too hot. Since the chamber is at 50 to 70 Celsius for ABS, you can actually leave the top door cracked. The chamber will stay hot, but it'll allow the extra heat from the motor to escape. Uh, on a lot of blends of ABS, the material is actually too soft at these chamber temps, and we, we sometimes see it stop extruding entirely. Uh, when you pull the filament out, you'll notice it warping or bending, indicating that it's gotten too soft inside the chamber, and you'll need to cut that off and start again. If it gets too soft, it'll actually grind itself down, and that's when you really need to clean out the gear. Usually this doesn't happen with the high temperature materials, but it's always good to check to make sure your gear is clean to keep your printing at optimal performance. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out anytime. We're based out in Southern California, uh, and you can email us at contactdivisionmonitor.com or give us a call at 833-774-6863. Thanks for watching, have a positive day, and we'll see you on the next video.